Hi, everybody. This is Dr. Phil from MedPathway.com. We are the MCAT experts. So we're going to look at flip MCAT workshops and ask you to sign up for our workshop. So we're going beyond content review. Content review is important, but you know, since the MCAT wants doctors to think like scientists, they're challenging you with the interpretation of experimental data and analysis. So that's what we focus on. So we do flip MCAT workshops. We do biochemistry themed. We could do we do chemistry, OCHEM, genetics, physical chem, biology, of course, biochem. 16 workshops for only $100. Plus, I do one-on-one -on -one tutorials, do office hours, always do makeups, Sunday and Tuesday evening. And you get access to our nearly 2,000 question QBank with AAMC interface as well. And so the flipped classroom model has been adopted by numerous STEM courses in medical schools to emphasize active learning. What you do is you watch a pre-class video and what you see over here on the right, you have amino acids and proteins, lab techniques, kinetics, gene expression, lots of good stuff. There's 16 of them. You come to class and what we do is challenge you with MCAT passages that are all data analysis driven and we annotate all those and show you how to actually interpret data. We look at complex organic molecules, ask about meso, chirality. We look at physical chemistry and spectroscopy. We take complicated graphs like this and we break them down and how you can actually read them and apply them to organic chemistry reactions that are relevant to the passage. We do biochemical mechanisms. This is an SN1 versus an SN2, classical MCAT stuff. We do real-time PCR. We show you how to actually read these complex uh, images here, and this is how you do it. We break it down for you. We're going to show you scatter plots, very common in flow cytometry. Not a lot of people have seen scatter plots, but we're going to show you how to read them. We read many different types of data. We do chemotherapy and pH. Of course, pH is so incredibly important in cancer because a lot of these drugs can't cross the membrane and enter the cancer cell if they're not at the right pH. So here's how you read these graphs. And then we're gonna look at SARS-CoV-2. How could you possibly go into the MCAT not knowing something about virology and SARS given everything we've seen so far? And of course, we are going to be your MCAT guide. And we hope to see you come to our website, register for our, our workshops. We'll see you later on the MCAT.